Hi, I'm Professor Paul Specht. Uh, we're going to show you today how to make a, a very quick multi-view drawing, the basic fundamental principles behind it. First, I want to show you the tools of the trade that we'll be using. Very simply, a 2B pencil, a, a simple straight edge, that's a piece of scrap plexiglass, uh, and we'll be using four types of lines. The heavy outline, uh, uh, which is used for outlining of objects, uh, and pro projection lines, which are also used uh, for uh, dimensioning and so on. You can see a difference in the weights. Uh, center lines, which are used for all symmetric objects, and cylindrical objects, and circles, always. And then anything that is hidden that needs to be shown is always shown in hidden line, which you see as a broken line here. So with those four particular uh, lines, plus the simple tools uh, that I've shown you, we're going to proceed to make a, a drawing of the body of this truck. You've met this truck before. Essentially, I've uh, taken away all the detailed parts, and I've left with nothing but the truck body. We want to make a drawing of the truck body. We want something more than just a drawing. It's a multi-view drawing. It is drawn orthogonally. That is, everything is aligned. Uh, we begin with what we refer to uh, always as the front view. Now, this is not the front of the truck. This is the front view we have selected for our drawing. That shows the greatest amount of detail and most descriptive of the various views we might have of this object, the truck. That given, the, uh, let's proceed to go with what does a multi-view drawing of this truck body look like? Well, here's the side view. I've already drawn that in for you, all right? As you can see, all the essential details are in place. Uh, such things as the headlights are hidden in here. They're in a the broken line. Uh, now, what do we know about this? Uh, everything is all on a two-dimensional plane. Uh, how do we go about uh, making a top view, for example? Well, here's the top view of the truck. If I were to put the truck here and we look down on it, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see this, aren't we? Here's a projection. And again, I want to just show you that that's projected straight up from that point. Here's a vertex. That's up here. Vertex. That's up here, and so on, all right? Secondly, I'm going to draw a line, not just any line. That line is a parallel line to these lines. In any multi-view drawing, it's critical that you maintain parallelism and verticality in terms of all your lines. Well, there's the broad outline or footprint of the uh, truck body. Well, here's the upper edge of the windshield. That's the vertex right here. Well, here's another vertex down here. Well. What I've done is I now have drawn in, here's this plane, here is this plane, and here is this plane. Okay, well, but I'm looking down on this. Uh, uh, this is a symmetrical object. So, well, okay, so what do I do? I put in the center line. I'm going to do this. Extend it out a bit, okay. Uh, that's the symmetrical part. So let's just draw half of the whole here, which is, it involves these. Uh, you can, uh, by eye or uh, what have you, draw in your uh, uh, projection lines. Those are vertical. That's c close enough to vertical, as you can see. All right. We know from measurement uh, of the part that uh, that plane is a half an inch in to accept the wheel. That's got to be in here somewhere. Well, let me just take that line. Instead of just drawing a little short line, draw a very light projection line right across. Okay. Now, what happens is, well, here's the wheel well. Okay. Well, there's something more to it than that, isn't there? There's an axle point. Well, here's the axle. Well, okay, take a center line. There's the center line of the axle. The axle, if I only draw a single line and left it at that, that would be a zero-dimension line. 
The axle is actually uh, about a quarter of an inch in diameter. Here's the tangent point. That's going to be doing this, all right? So hidden lines, all right? So now I've indicated that. I would do exactly the same thing forward here for the front wheel. Let's project up, parallel, parallel. Hidden lines, okay. How about this animal? Uh, well, it, there's a tangent point and a tangent point. Project those up. Every line can be identified and located. How deep is it? It's a, about a quarter of an inch deep. There's a quarter of an inch. Here's the hidden line. And I want to tell people that that is the top view of a cylindrical uh, feature, all right? That means there's a center line. All right, well, if I draw that center line, I project it straight down, there's the center in this front view, okay? That's the basic, everything has this, but you can always find any given vertex dimensionally uh, in uh, a multi-view drawing. Uh, I'll do the same thing up here with, with the headlight socket. Uh, there's a center line, project up. I'm gonna do that, there I am, all right? Now, I've drawn one half, one half of the whole. If I needed a complete drawing, I would uh, replicate all of this detail on the other side, and that would constitute the top view. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, how about a front view? Well, simply that again, uh, at this point, run a projection line across some of the main points. You can see where they should be. At, uh, all right, that describes the top and the bottom of, of, of the uh, truck body. <coughs> We've already said this is the width because we measured off the truck itself. If I take a 45 degree projection line down like this, and where that meets this line, is the vertex and the vertex, that line should be the same distance as that line. And I know that it is, I can check it by measure, but it, it certainly it's there. So you can see that if we have a front view, we blocked out really the main object, okay, uh, that's its maximum dimensions, all right. Now let's proceed to say, well, okay, where is this vertex over here? Well, it's projected across, there it is. I have now defined this front plane, which is this plane. I've defined this, which is this plane the windshield, which is this plane, the top plane, all right? The rest of it is detail. Well, here we have a little window. Uh, we'll project across to that point, put in a small center line, and we let's pick up the same center line that we had here, all right? That's the, that's the side view center line. Now, the tangent point of the, this circle comes across, it's here, comes across, it's here, there it is, it's, okay. Same for the wheel well. Here's a tangent point that projects directly across on this line. We know how deep it is, we could measure it, or we simply can come up here to the wheel well, come across, and at this point, take another 45 degree line down, project that vertex down like this, <coughs> And what we have is the wheel well shown in the side view, or end view, I beg your pardon. Okay, uh, same goes for, for the uh, uh, little headlights. I'll put the headlights on the other side just to avoid confusion. <coughs> we know that uh, that point is like this. Well, okay, we could measure across and say, all right, it's down here. Uh, again, here's the, the, that's the center. There's the headlight. So you can see that, that I can go in either direction. I can complete all of these drawings by flipping and replicating what I've already drawn. I would have a complete drawing of the front view of the truck body, the, the top view, and the side view. So here's, here we would have the front view, top view, side or end view. And that constitutes the basics of a multi-view drawing. Let me just reinforce. 
Everything must be aligned, always, always. It is never, you would not take this view and draw it up here. You would not draw separate views on separate pieces of paper. They must always align because you are informing people that this point in the front view is right here, it's aligned and so forth. That's the entire purposes uh, of a multi-view. Now often multi-view drawings get very complex. That's why we use isometrics to explain to the uninitiate uh, w really what the drawing is. This, in this case, it's very straightforward uh, and understandable. You've done it in a way that's very clear to the viewer. 